Hey guys, the PA Outdoorsman here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, tan a deer hide with alum and salt. I was a little skeptical at first how well of a job this would do, um, but it's actually turned out really nice. The two capes that I've done have, have turned out really nice. So this here is alum powder. It doesn't matter. You can use uh, like really fine alum or alum powder. They both work. Um, and where I got this is a little store uh, around where I live called Laps. It's like an Amish uh, bulk store. And this is where I found this. It was a lot cheaper than buying it uh, in smaller chunks. So that's alum powder and salt. Now what you do uh, is you're going to take one cup. This is a half of a cup. This will work. I've already done this and I already have my solution. So I'm not going to do it again, but I'll, I'll show you what you have to do. You take uh, one cup each of alum powder and salt, this is regular salt, I used pickling salt, it really doesn't matter, salt, salt, okay? But you're gonna take one cup of alum powder and one cup of salt uh, for five gallons of water, okay? Now, I did two hides, so I doubled that, so I actually did two cups of alum and two cups of salt, um, and it worked for two. I did two in the same thing, so therefore, the final recipe is two cups alum, two cups salt, and 10 gallons of water. Okay, and that'll give you enough. And I'll go show you the solution, what it looks like. It's pretty nasty, but it's it, it does a great job. Okay, so I'll go show you that. Okay, guys, so here's the solution. I know it looks pretty disgusting, but uh, it, does a, it does a great job, like I said. So once again, this is a 10-gallon, I believe, uh, plastic bucket, okay, well, plastic tub, um, filled with 10 gallons water and two and two. So remember, 2, 2, 10, okay? And, and you'll be good to go. So what I did was I took my hide, as you can see here. It's submerged pretty good. Um, and you take, I took some weights and old rocks that we had in the garage. Uh, and you just keep it under that solution. You don't want any of the hide sticking up, like over here. Um, this is just a chunk of the other one I did. Uh, you don't want any of it sitting up because it's not going to cure properly if it's not under the solution, okay? So what you do is you're going to pour in the alum and salt first, and then you'll pour the water in. And you want to make sure that it's well mixed and that there's uh, none of the powder left, none of the water left, that it's all mixed together. All right? And then what you'll do is I do this probably once a day, um, maybe twice a day if, if I had time off. Uh, and you just stir the solution around, okay? And what this does is it sets the hair in place. So your hair, a lot of your, most of your hair is not going to fall out. Okay, like you would if you just used plain salt, because I've done a lot of hides with just plain salt, and they get real brittle, and they fall apart. This is just a little piece of scrap wood over here. <coughs> and you can let this sit. I let my one hide, my first hide, sit for in the solution for, I think, five days. And then this one's been in here for about eight days. There's really no difference, honestly. They both turned out fine, but I wouldn't say any less than five days, since that's what I did. Um, and then after five days, you'll just pull it out and it'll be ready to go. Okay. So that's part one of the short series on how to tan your hides with alum and salt. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Uh, I apologize for the bad quality. I'm getting a better camera pretty soon, but for right now, this is just going to have to do. Okay. So thank you for watching. This is the PA Outdoors. Have a great day.